So same shit, different year. Still filming people without their consent. Still 500 pounds and the diet is still going to start on a Monday. But this Monday is never to be seen. I think Amber's weeks just always start from a Tuesday. That's why she's never able to start this damn diet, y'all. Darlings, it's time for another video of Amber Lynn being off track. However, this time I thought that I'd do it a little bit differently because I know that you guys really love the old clips of what Amber Lynn was like before. So I thought we'd do like a comparison video um, because a lot of you say that she's lying about the way she eats and talks and everything. So I thought today we're going to be comparing the Amber Lynn being off track now versus then. By the way, I want to say thank you to all of you because for my last video, Video, you've all taken me to over 10,000 subscribers. It's surreal. It feels like it was only yesterday I was trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, but I'm really glad that you're all enjoying the videos, honestly. I'm sure you'll like this one too, so stick around. And if you haven't already subscribed, remember to click the subscribe button. I love you guys. Let's go. Hello, hello. Welcome to a new vlog. So this vlog is going to be like a normal vlog, but I'm also going to add in here what I ate today. So this is a completely off track day because starting tomorrow i'm getting back on track and i will show you guys what that looks like more so because it's gonna be like a little bit of a series we'll see how it goes but i figured i would show you guys like how i'm eating when i literally am not thinking about my weight whatsoever like at all i thought it would be more authentic to do that instead of just like jumping into a weight loss series because i do want you guys to see like how it looks truly off track for me all right, so I ordered food. So here is my first meal. So I got five guys, actually. So I got their regular size Cajun fry, which I never finished the fries. I never finished the burger either, which I'll definitely show you guys that. So for the cheeseburger, um, I got mayo, jalapeno, onion. So that's everything that's on there. Tastes so good. And then for the drink, I just got a Diet Coke. Am I crazy that it just annoys the crap out of me when you're all together and someone on the table tries to act dainty and says, oh my God, I just can't finish my food. Like why on earth do I need to know that? Maybe just don't order too much then. You know, once in a blue moon, if you overeat, you can say, damn, like I'm really full. I didn't expect to eat that much. But when you sit and all have that one friend who just loves to be dainty and a skinny queen and says, oh my God, I just can't finish my food. Like shut up, Sally. and finish your fries so when my uber delivered the food um i was expecting a guy and it was actually my original uber driver's wife it's because he broke his leg i was like oh my god i don't know about y'all but i'm a 30 percent tipper when it's on uber like i just have that automatically set but for some reason that made me feel really bad so i tipped a little extra all right so i'm gonna eat this i'm probably gonna watch like Grey's anatomy or something and then i'll show you guys what i don't finish because every time I get five guys, I never finish my food. Y'all, I tell you, they give you so many fries. I always just empty them in the bag, but that is all the fries I have left. Like, it's just so wasteful, but it's a lot and I'm over it. And then here's how much of the burger that I've left. So I'm finished with this. Ugh, there's a lot of nonsense that I need to break down. So firstly, you know you've messed up in life when you say that my original Uber driver do you order so much that you have your own designated Uber driver? And you know them personally? Uh, I don't know, or maybe it's just the way that you said it, but even if you didn't say it, the fact is that you always order and you say that, you know, you give a certain amount of tips. Dude, why are you ordering so much that you know this anyway? The other thing is, you do so much grocery shopping, do you eat it all? And then order out anyway? Because if that's the case, then you're just lying to us. Or your food in the fridge, it goes out of date and it goes to waste? I don't know. This is just such a mess. Secondly, someone in the comments section said that you don't get to 500 pounds by not finishing your meals. And I know some of these comments may seem mean, but there is some truth to it. Like, girl, why are you trying to prove to us that you're under, you know, 500 pounds and you don't finish your food? You were under 500 pounds before and you ate more than this. And now you're saying that you were better over the years and you're still 500 or maybe slightly under and you make it seem as if you don't finish your meals and that you don't have snacks. So where is all this weight coming from? 
it has to come from somewhere. No one is bashing you for this, Amberlynn. But if you're trying to be an example, you've got all these impressionable young people looking at you and becoming confused and think, well, okay, she's saying she's all right, so I guess I can copy her and I'll be fine too. Whether you like it or not, you've got a big audience and you will influence some people one way or another. And lying just isn't the right way to go at this point. It's also grocery shopping day. So this is how I get my groceries back into my apartment. I actually am buying off of Amazon a specific like grocery cart for people who live in apartments because I'm tired of using my suitcase. Oh. And I know, otherwise it takes... <laughs> 250. And here I put coffee. <laughs> no, mom, turn it around. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> the red has to be on top. Is the red on top? Upside down? What do you mean the red has to be on top? Okay, it's recording. Oh, like that. Good. Mom. <laughs> Face. <laughs> oh, there we go. I just want to get like a I like B roll, so I'm not gonna like say anything. No, no. I didn't know if I did. Oh, I did. I, did. I thought you knew how to shuffle, Amber. I'm editing that out. I do. Oh, you can't. You can't show that you have a, some type of character flaw that you couldn't shuffle. Perfect. No, my character flaw is my fat. Okay. Who's winning? Amberlynn is. All of like the really healthy stuff is down below, I promise. I got a lot of produce in there. I'm not lying, I promise. Okay, so I'm about to open my suitcase. It is so freaking heavy, but it's full of grocery. And then I'll just lay it down. I promise you this just makes life so much easier. And then when I'm done putting away my groceries, Rarital Gray thinks that this is her new home. You see what I mean? All these groceries. So she says diet starts Monday and she's done all the shopping and she says she won't order, but we know she will. And here she says, all the healthy stuff is at the bottom, I swear. So you're starting your healthy diet with unhealthy stuff. Don't you say that unhealthy stuff triggers you? You contradict yourself so much, Amberlynn. And also, I don't care that you do your shopping and put it in a suitcase. I'm just concerned why you shop that much. I can go out and do that much shopping for four people. You can't even say that that's a month's worth of things because most of these things would go off and you have a haul like almost every week and in, in the videos, like, and each video is like one week apart. Damn girl. So I'm about to have two of these Uncrustables. It's peanut butter and grape jelly sandwich. They're so good. And a sun-kissed orange zero sugar. Okay, you guys. So it is time for my next meal. I got Taco Bell. I got an order of their cinnamon twists. My hair is all up in it. Cinnamon twists. I actually have not had these since I was probably like a teenager from what I can remember. So let's try one. Mmm. It literally, the texture reminds me of freeze-dried candy. I got one taco. It is just the um, nacho taco one. I don't know. It's the nacho cheese taco shell, which is what I prefer. And then I got a black bean burrito with, I think I asked for like French fries and onion on the inside. I took a bite of my food and I forgot. I'm also drinking some water. So I don't usually get drinks when I order from Uber. I mean, I have before. It has happened, but it's not really something I do. It kind of just like gives me the creeps a little bit. <laughs> Girl, what? I swear she's messing with us. Doesn't she always talk about how she orders McDonald's Diet Coke because, and I quote, hits different? And it wasn't just a one-off because you remember you kept on ordering it and people kept on saying no way she just gets herself a drink she must get a meal as well and the whole comment section was going mad and saying why would you do that such a waste and then you also order those um icy blast whatever they are those kind of drinks too why are you always lying damn all right you guys so i am getting ready to go to bed i'm done eating for the night and if I have anything to drink, it'll be out of this water bottle here. So apparently that's it. That's all she had off track. This is the end of this clip. 
I would honestly say that this is an on-track day for Amberlynn compared to what she normally has. This has been, you know, there's been no snacking in between. This is just way too good for it to be off track. But if you say so, Amberlynn. Now let's have a look back at what she used to have when she was off track back in the day. And then you can comment on it. Let's go. Hey guys, so I just woke up, um, I don't know, about 20 minutes ago. Last night I was trying to schedule some videos for you guys and I started feeling really nauseous um I haven't like peaked or anything but I'm still really nauseous it really could be because I ate really really bad yesterday um I had Taco Bell and then I had Mexican and then I had a whole bag of chips and a whole box of gushers. It was it was it was disgusting. But I feel really bad. I'm having like heartburn, which I know is from the Taco Bell because it started after the Taco Bell yesterday. And I'm just feeling like crap. You guys, look at me. This is an update. I no longer feel nauseous. I think my problem was I haven't been getting much sleep lately and I know that when that happens people like experience weird things and I honestly feel like that was what was wrong because after I woke up from my nap I'm feeling totally fine now I look like a hot mess though right so it was nothing at all to do with the crap you binged on last night it was only because you were feeling tired let me ask the audience guys how many of you feel nauseated when you feel tired that's apparently a normal symptom of tiredness now is it you guys know why she says this it's because it's given her enough time to digest the crap she's probably been to the bathroom too and now she's released so she feels hungry again and doesn't want it to have to do with her overeating because then it makes it so that it's not her fault and she can go and eat some more guilt free that's why my face looks so swollen. You're recording. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this part is just so awkward. She's like, my face is so swollen. And she's, look, look, she's waiting for Beck to say, no baby, you're my skinny queen. And Beck says nothing. You look adorable. Tomorrow is Monday, which we're gonna we're gonna do this thing um, my 1600 calories and stuff like that So same shit different year still filming people without their consent Still 500 pounds and the diet is still going to start on a Monday, but this Monday is never to be seen I think Amber's weeks just always start from a Tuesday. That's why she's never able to start this damn diet y'all Okay, so I'm starting off with a diet soda Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Doing oh. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> okay. So Becky and I went to Kroger's and I just got something for tonight because I know I'm going to be hungry later. So I got this bread. I love that type of bread with sandwiches. Um, where is it? Okay, I also got, I'm going to be eating these later. This is six Big Cup Reese's. I'm probably gonna eat all of them or just like five or something um, and then this is the lunch meat I like to use rotisserie seasoned deli fresh so so far we're starting out strong the same so far eating out and then going grocery shopping and buying a ton of crap so Becky really wants to go to a place called Sunny's she's been wanting to go for how long has it been now um, a while and how long have I kept saying, oh, it doesn't sound that good? A while. <laughs> so we've been always doing what you want to do and going where you want to go. Babe, that sounds so bad. Well, I mean, I always give in, don't I? Oh my God, that sounds so bad. How tweet. This is just typical Amberlynn behavior. 
We know this. We know everything is Amber Lynn's way or the highway. Okay, so I decided for the sandwich, I'm actually gonna be having that for dinner since the um, pulled chicken and the macaroni and cheese and stuff was my first meal. I'm gonna consider that like a really weird breakfast. So I'm gonna consider the sandwich my dinner and for lunch, I'm getting hungry. It's only been, gosh, it's only been about like three hours since I had um, my first meal. So I'm gonna go have McDonald's. I know that's really bad, um, but they have these like snack wraps that I really like. Her whole existence is all around food. So because she's decided that she wants McDonald's now, Beck has to get up and drive her there just for those two snack wrap things. She's decided. It's all about her. Can I help you? Uh, one second. Just the two snack wraps. Mm. And a Sprite. Crispy. Okay. Um, I need uh, two snack wraps crispy and a large Sprite. Oh, I just have to comment on this bit. Everyone was saying in these the past videos that Beck was just so rude here. She didn't say excuse me. She didn't say please. She didn't say thank you. And I think Beck has anxiety. And this is no excuse to not have basic manners. But just to put it into perspective, this was a really difficult time for Beck. And we only really got to find out about it years later. And I think her anxiety just made it so difficult to actually be aware. And I think that's why... Uh, although I'm not excusing it. Yeah, she should have she should have been more polite So this is what they look like. I just got two of them. I didn't get fries or anything and I got a sprite so it's just I Think that's like ranch or something lettuce and Okay, this is gross. I don't, I don't like touching my food really so and there's just chicken on the inside so that is all it is so there we go. There is my lunch. <laughs> the way she just opens it up, like we've never seen McDonald's before, and it's some elite five-star restaurant meal. Come on! Okay, so here is my final meal. The sandwich and Funyuns, and in the sandwich... That's what that looks like. I like my sandwiches pretty plain. And we have a cat. Well, we have two cats. They smell the chicken. Um, and then I also have Reese's for later. So that is everything that I am going to be eating today. So I just wanted to end this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. My eating was horrendous today. Um, but tomorrow is a new day. And I'm definitely going to be keeping you guys updated what is on here all right my loves that brings us to the end of the video do you agree that this here is an off track day because honestly i wouldn't be surprised if she ate like this every day i mean funnily enough i don't think this would be enough to maintain her 500 pounds so do you really think that she's being honest here or do you think that she's downplaying the way she eats let me know in the comments subscribe if you want to see some more and i'll see you in the next one i love you all goodbye so we're on our way to work You're a lot. If you eat faster, you, you get more. I'm wearing the wrong shoes. Happy had a heart attack today. I hope that my hate will lower and my love will higher. But I was opening an avocado. You guys know that stupid circle that's in an avocado. It's the sea. It's B. We shouldn't be tearing someone down. We should be tearing people up. And I lost 89 pounds before. You're a lot. Mental things are, is scary. Remember, 